What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know this is Peach. And today I'm going to be taking you into this DH Horton home. DR. I'm talking about DH. DR Horton home. This is a five bedroom house. Let's go. All right, Peach Patch. This is a five bedroom, three bathroom home. It's called the Robbie. It is 2,447 square feet. Two story house, two car garage. Let's get into it. They don't have any of these available right now, but she said very soon. Well, she even got a oh, here we go. Push it in, girl. Push it. I don't know how much this costs. I'm gonna ask when I go back to get the um price sheet of what they have coming available. I am loving the entryway. I like how long it is. The stairs are right here, but I like how long this is. It's very wide, and I love the archway. It's probably the half bath or storage. Storage, small storage closet. All righty, here is the kitchen. You have an actual island. Oh, a walk-in pantry. I can't wait to get me a walk-in pantry. I want a walk-in pantry, but my pantry gonna have to be bigger than this and have more shelving. My big sister had a six bedroom house and her pantry was like the size of a bedroom. It was so nice. I want something like that. I'm telling y'all the older homes actually, to me, the Peach Patch, the older homes actually look better than newer homes. So I think I would be open to buying an older home, even though you don't know what you buy. I gotta make sure you get you two inspections. I feel like with an older home, you're gonna get more space. You're gonna get that shower, that tub, all that stuff. I'll try to take y'all to an open house of an older home, just so y'all can see the difference between older construction, probably 2016 and less, versus this newer construction. But it is a walk-in pantry, which is awesome. Put all your drinks on the floor and it actually has a door. I love doors versus those sliding doors or those pool doors that we have. Those things easily break. These kind of doors don't break, or at least they take a whole lot to. Lots of cabinet space. Love the black cabinets. Love that they're handleless. I think it looks really good. Comment down below if you like cabinets that are handleless or do you prefer to have handles on your cabinets? And here they actually have the stainless steel appliances which I like. I love stainless steel appliances. It's just cleaning them is ooh, a challenge. So we have the island and have three bar stools right here. I be feeling like if you got a small family, you can get away with just the island and not worry about a kitchen table. But my family is huge. We need a table like this. And that still ain't enough chairs because there's seven of us. But <clears throat> I love it. I think the spacing in this home is great. I love the tile. I love the kitchen. I want a bigger kitchen in this, though. Then you have the living room area. The living room in here is so small, y'all. Like, look at that. No space. So, Peach Patch, this is called an open floor plan where you can just look around and see everything at once. Open concept floor plan, which is what this is, which I don't care for in this particular home because it's not that much living space. Like, that wall not even that big. Look how little that TV is. Like, this probably like a, I don't even think that's a 50. I'll say like a 42-inch TV. But, yeah, it's not that much space, especially when you got a big family. But it's nice. And then out here is the backyard. This little back porch is not covered versus the three-bedroom had a little bit of covering. This doesn't have that. But you can always build one of those. On. You can always add on to your house after you buy it. A lot of people do that. They'll customize their home themselves and save money. Then down here we have, it could be the master or what we like to call a mother-in-law suite. Have you guys ever heard that So term? in real estate, the term mother-in-law suite comes from your parents are going to get old and your mother is going to have to live with you. Your mother-in-law is going to have to live with you so y'all can take care of her, which is how they came up with the term mother-in-law suite. It's a bedroom for the parents to be downstairs, Actually, a nice size. The closet is longer than the other one in the three bedroom, but it still isn't huge. Got the little, I don't know what kind of stand that is, but okay, it's cute. It's like a little dresser. They're trying to make it like the bed fits in here. This is like a full size bed. It's not a queen, it's a full size bed. It's decent space. It feels very spacious, but with the mother-in-law suite, you have the mother-in-law's room and then you have a bedroom right outside of the room. And it's also your guest bathroom. So it's a full bath. 
I hate, hate, hate these showers. Comment down below if y'all love or hate these. They just like feel like plastic, you know? Like it's not that hard tile, it's not marble, it's just like plastic. But hey, it is what it is. I will say I'm loving the countertops with these black um, cabinets. I like black cabinets over white cabinets. Then you have, what is this? A linen closet. The linen closet is really big. I'm trying to figure out why they're only putting three shelves. One, two, three in their closets. Because even in the pantry, it's only three shelves. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the mother-in-law suite with the adjacent bathroom? If this was my house, this is a five-bedroom, I would make this my oldest son house. Um, oldest son room. So he would be by himself. And then everybody else would be upstairs. I can't wait to go see what the upstairs look like let's go and see downstairs felt like an apartment hopefully upstairs feels like a home i'm gonna take my shoes off i know that is so ghetto girl you gonna leave your shoes at the door yes why yes yes I baby am. these stairs be getting so big girl mama oh i'm so tired right, boss. Peach patch we made it to the second floor they have a little loft area it's very small I don't see some way bigger lofts than this, but it's a nice size loft. They don't put a family tree. This is too cute. I promise. If you need decorating ideas, come to you some model homes. They have like the best decorating ideas. This is so unique. You could get this family tree out of Walmart. It's like 20 bucks. And then hang up some photos inside of the tree, which is awesome. And then they even came back and put these hooks inside of the family tree to hold book bags and stuff, which I think is awesome. I really like that. And then over here, they have a little desk for like a study. And then a little storage bin. Let me move this way so y'all can really see the spacing of this. How big it is. You see? It's not that big. Okay, Peach Patch. The first door on the right is your AC unit. Then once we go inside the room. I also want to point out these light switches. I like them. Oddly enough. There we go. This is the master. Ooh, I like this, y'all. I could get jiggy with this. Look at the master closet. It's so big. It is big. Feel like a little bedroom. Now, this is cute. I like this. I need a closet like this. I think we need a little bit more shelving, but I like it. Look at it. It's so cute. Can y'all see? Like, I'm trying to give y'all a visual of how big it is. And I love the fact that the closet got the window. You could put a baby in here. You can make this a room. It just ain't got no, oh, it got an AC vent too. Man, I would make this a room, forget that. That'll be like a little toddler suite. Make this baby room, I like this. This is so cute. Comment down below, would you make this a bedroom? Take out the shelving, put you a little toddler bed over there. Who? All right, so I really like this. so hard about this house. And she said they have one coming available, but it's not ready yet. So probably September. I'm gonna go back over there and see when. The five will be available, five bedroom, three bath, but it's not that big. It's only 2,400 square feet. I want something like 3,000, but you know, the bigger the place, the bigger the light. So like this room is very spacious as well. They got two big old nightstands. Like those things are humongous and they fit perfectly and you still got room on the side. And then a bed, this look like a king size bed. I don't like the bed. I don't like the decorations on the bed. The bed don't, ain't made up that good, but I like how big the room is and i like that painting and i like that they was able to fit a chair you can actually put you a whole couch over there i would put a couch man i like this and then you still got a lot of space between this and your dresser i would put a tv over there i don't like how the wall position though if this was my room i would have put my bed on this side because this wall looked longer and then i would have put my tv on this wall so it could be in the center Okay, that's how I would have did it. But I know like people like to have their nightstands next to their two windows, but it's not centered. You see this wall? It's not centered enough for me. Let's go in the bathroom. Have a tub, have a tub, have a tub. Oh, it ain't got no tub. This ain't my house. My house got a shower and a tub, but they have a shower in here. This bathroom is, you can beach. actually hear my voice echoing in this bathroom because it's a nice size like it's really spacious in here you can put you a whole vanity in here if you no, want it to. doesn't have a tub you could put a tub right here have you a shower and a tub i feel like my bathroom gotta have a 
shower in the tub. I hate right now that we only have a shower. I don't like using my kids' bathroom. They nasty little kids, you know? But they have his and her sink, which is awesome. It is a decent size, a decent space away. It's not as spacious as the his and her sink we got now, but it's decent. I like it. I'm loving the white with the black. I think when I do my house, we're going to do it the white with the black. The white, 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 the black. Okay, I like that. I like the candles. I like the flower. I like everything. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite part is the throne room. They actually have a door. Okay, making this a throne room. So you can close the door like, boy, I'm in here pooping. Move, get out my business. And you know, light switch. Hit it. I like it. And the throne room is big. Like, it's a lot of space. You don't feel like you closing a tiny space. I like this. They did a great job with this room, the way it's structured. Let's see if this is the linen closet. Light switch. Yep. The linen closet. Now, I don't know why they ain't put no, no racks in here for your towels. In this linen closet, I would add some racks so I could put like my towels. That's kind of weird, but I like it. It's spacious. It's spacious. How much you think this house is? Comment down below. How much do you think this five bedroom, what was it? Five bedroom, three bath home is, and it's 2,400 and something square feet. All right, over here, we got the laundry room upstairs. So you're gonna have to go down there and wash mama clothes, bring mama clothes from the mother-in-law suite up to the laundry room. They don't have any racks, so you'll have to add those, but it is very spacious in here. Once again, you could do a whole turnaround in this room. I like it. Love it, love it, love it. I love this tile. This gray tile. Baby, that's a bop bop for me. It's a bop for me. What's this? A linen closet. Here we go again with the one, two, three racks. I want me like five, six racks. One, two, three. Add me two more at the bottom. Rack it on up like it's rack city, boo. But that linen closet, decent size. Right off the laundry room. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I like this too. This is a very spacious hallway. So you got three brooms up here. Ooh, rawr. This is so cute. They got little dinosaurs. They was cheap with this room. They ain't even put no headboard. Just cheap, 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 cheap. They're like, these houses selling themselves. We ain't got to do the most. But I like this room. Decent size. But let's check out the closet. Is it teeny like the other one? Okay. Closet has a little bit more width than the other one that we saw in the three bedroom, and it's longer. So the closet is a decent size. Like, I ain't gonna say decent, it's a great size. Better than the three bedroom. They did a great job. I like the curtains up there. They did a great job. They just should have had a headboard. Now, y'all doing too much, but they probably said the raw was too big for the headboard, but that look kind of cheap, 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 cheap. But I like the size of the room. Next, we have a girl's room, bedroom number four. This is the fourth bedroom, third one upstairs. Um, I like it. It's a decent size once again. Choose joy. I like that. You're, you are loved. Decent size. I'm loving it. I like how far away the bedrooms are. Like in the home we're in right now, as soon as you step like this, you in the other room. But this one, it's a nice, look how big this thing is. A nice distance away like you really ain't gonna aggravate your brother closet they still ain't got no lights in these closets though that's my only thing who don't put lights in the closet what if somebody need to get something at night time i guess they don't have to have on a room light but most closets normally have lights especially when they're walk-in closets that's kind of weird but i like it i like this room i like this house i don't love it it ain't the one for me, but it could be the one for you. Comment down below if you like this. And then this is bedroom number five, which is the third, fourth room upstairs. They did this one like an astronaut, a moon theme. Moon theme room. Nice size. I feel like this room is bigger than the other two, but it could just be because of the position of the room. And then we have a closet. I like this. This closet is kind of smaller as far as like, the width go, it isn't that wide, but it's still like the same length. This house is nice. 
I like this. Go ahead, show out D D R Hort and show our little peas. All right, hey, big girl, mama gonna make it down these steps. Step, do your step, step, step. Whew, I'm tired. I gotta get a shape shot. This ain't peach patch. Now we gonna walk back over here and get the um, price sheet so we can find out how much these homes are going for and when they'll have more available. Yeah, if I can. All right, peach patch. So I just got in my car. She did give me a quick move in of what they have coming up. The Robbie house that I like, they have one that will be available in September or October. It is a five bedroom, three bath. It's two story, two car garage. And it's only $377,990, which I think is a great price. However, in this community, they do have a CDD and a HOA. The CDD is the community development tax. That is, where she put it at? That one is, it was high. It's $2,081.14 a month, I mean a year. $2,000. $81.14 a year. And then also you have to pay to go to the lagoon. The lagoon in the front that I said will be included. No, it's $35 a month that you got to pay. The HOA is $71.40 a month. This is one of the reasons why I'm kind of skeptical. Like, do I really want to live in an HOA community, especially one with a CDD, an HOA fee, and a lagoon fee? Also, most of their homes are sold even before they build them. They're sold. So this house right here that they have coming up, it's 16916 Trait Bend Street, a 5-3 that I like. Um, I didn't love the master bedroom, but like master bedroom shower, but you can always change that. I loved everything else about that house. I would put my oldest downstairs and all the other kids upstairs with me and daddy. But with this house, she has two people already on the wait list for it with pre-approval letters and all of that stuff but i came down here to see if i could find a location because she was like it's it's ready now but i don't see it like they're still here guys all of these homes are already sold they don't even have anything really going right now but the foundation and they're just starting to build and they're already sold this is how crazy it is right now in florida i was trying to find a site like where would this um 1619 trait bite be it'll be somewhere back here it is on a premium lot so you would have to put $24,000 down just for the premium lot, just so y'all know. She was amazing. Her name is Kari. Um, she was amazing, guys. Um, she gave me a lot of information and she was trying to convince me, like, go ahead and go for in-house financing. Right now, with DH Horton, their in-house financing, they'll give you $10,000 towards your closing costs versus if you use somebody else so that's really good but you still have to at least put twenty four thousand dollars down just to go ahead and get that lot and start the process um but the hoa and cdd that's almost a hundred dollars extra a month on top of your mortgage homeowners insurance it's a lot oh it's a lot um but i really like it so it was this floor plan the roby comment down below if y'all like this one what do y'all think about the price i think it's not that bad the three bedroom was 313 and three bedroom was 313 990 and then the five bedroom is three thousand three hundred and seventy seven thousand nine ninety. so i felt like that's not that bad that big of a difference and it gave me hope it's like girl let's get on our stuff so we could buy this house cash i'm buying my house cash she was like it's no point in buying cash the interest rates are so low but i just know the type of life i've already lived in with the type of business i i'm in it's like this it's up and down excuse me you never know how much you're gonna make i always know how much i got coming for the next month but you never know how much you're gonna make with youtube our income and fluctuates with being an entrepreneur in general our income fluctuates so it's a little bit more risky i'd rather buy my home cash and then i only have to worry about homeowners insurance cdd hoa if i choose to live in those type of communities versus me having to worry about all those all those things because honestly um paying a hundred dollars for the hoa i'm rounding up a hundred dollars for the hoa and cdd shoot i ain't round up i rent round down 70 plus 35 that's already 30 plus 70 is 100 so 106 dollars and 40 cent 106 for six dollars and 40 cent for your hoa but also she did add that with the hoa let me go because this car like girl go with the hoa it does include your cable and your internet they do have ultra community so you get wi-fi anywhere in the community you also get 
two cable boxes for that price and yeah i feel like that's a really good deal you ain't got to worry about cable or internet that's awesome across the street there's another community it was one of the first ultra five communities in this area i feel like this is a great location too it's in sun city area wild mama sun city area and it is what is it called a walmart there's a walmart across the street a audi i'm gonna show y'all all that stuff while we're driving out of ownership is possible first we gotta dream it plan it and then we achieve it simple simple thing all right peach patch so now we are driving out of south shore bay i just wanted you guys to have a view of what the community looks like i also wanted to point out just like i did in a previous video that all the mailboxes are in one spot back in the day when you got a house everybody had individual mailboxes but now with the newer communities they're building they have found that it's more cost effective to just put all the mailboxes in one spot and then you have to drive to your mailbox the same like with an apartment but this is the model home that we originally looked at in this video that five bedroom i'm just showing you all the models and now we're finally headed out of the community this community is huge so many different types of styles homes starting at the mid 200 thousands and up i didn't really see no two hundred thousand dollar homes just to be real with y'all they also have a security fence that's not working yet because they're still constructing a lot of stuff in this community south shore bay also has the lagoon if you do decide to purchase over here you have to pay a 35 dollar monthly fee for using the lagoon and you can't refuse it i think you have to pay it that's what she told me now we are on sun city boulevard this is in wild mama florida so for those of you who aren't familiar with florida you have um, Sun City, Florida, Riverview, Florida, Gibson Town, Wild Mama, Ruskin, Apollo Beach, all in this one little area. So we were just in Wild Mama. I also want to show you guys how conveniently located the community is. This is Walmart. And then you have the Walmart gas station right by it. And right across the street, you have a Wawa gas station. At the opposite end of the light, you have an Audi's. You also have McDonald's um Publix a liquor store all within a pretty good distance in Sun City Center area this used to be where all the seniors retired we lived in Ruskin years ago like in 2015 and when we lived in Ruskin that was my first time seeing right, people drive golf down carts below. instead what of you cars think about this house and if you like this video you know what to do you know what to do go ahead and hit a like you like hey hit a like you like hit a like you like for your girl thanks for watching You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way Light, 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 light Let's go! Light, 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 light Follow! Like, like, hit her like, like, hit her like you like Follow your girl, go! Fly with a like, rock with a like To the left, to the right, go like, like, like Australia better like, like, like US better like, better like, 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 like. Like, like, I hope y'all like this sound. Yeah, that's right. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for joking. Bye.